all right queens and kings so in today's video i will be making two gorgeous but glamorous room decor diys if you all would like to see how i created each look why don't you continue to watch hey queens and kings okay so starting with my first diy which is just simple where i'm just going to be revamping a um, magnifying glass that i got from dollar tree and i'm using this gorgeous bling wrap here um rhinestone wrap that you can purchase from amazon and i will leave it down below and also one of the totally dazzle brooches and all i'm doing is just covering this magnifying glass up it's just to glimmer out you know give it something to be a little bit stylish on my books or on my coffee table or anywhere i decide to house it or whenever i just want to hold it in my hand so just sitting pretty most likely so i'm just gonna actually glue the rhinestone all the way around to cover as much as the black as possible it's okay that the black is seeking through in certain areas but it's still gonna give me the look that I want. So this DIY is very simple, but I did get the idea from Moji Style, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think she did one of these a while back though. So shout out to you, girl. All right, Queens and Kings. So here is my sit and pretty magnified glass. Isn't she gorgeous? Just so beautiful, simple and affordable. Okay, Queens and Kings, so for the last DIY here, this one was a little bit tedious because there's more things to do, but I'm using the four of Dollar Tree mirrors. They're a little faux crystal wine glasses, a bag of sand, they fix all adhesive, and a box cutter, as well as my hot glue gun and glue stick, and this bling rhinestone wrap. Once again, you can find it at Amazon as well as Hobby Lobby. So what I'm gonna do is glue two of the mirrors together using hot glue to secure each one. So I will have a set of two for the top as well as the bottom for our hourglass. And once I actually secure those together, I'm going to glue the rhinestone around the edge just to seal it to cover it um, and cover it up, you know, basically to hold the gap in between. Um, I will advise you to use a strong adhesive. Um, I'm using hot glue to do that portion as I'm showing right here but still use some type of adhesive because eventually once it dries up it will peel off which you will see later in the video I think I will point it at something like that Okay, so this is basically how I look. They look like little risers or so. So I'm just using a towel to clear off some of the hot glue screens or you know, the spider's web screens that you get from a glue gun. Next, I'm going to move on with my faux crystals, which this part right here, I will advise you guys to just do one side before you do the other side. Just do one, which you will see later in the video. It was a little bit difficult because I did both instead of just doing one at a time to line it up or to make the hourglass look but anyways here i'm just basically trying to figure out the center and see how flat it is to the surface of the mirror which they're not so i'm going to take my little hot knife that i purchased from hobby lobby to actually smooth it down so therefore it can fit flush on top of each one of the risers which is this little lovely tool here which i am in love with it if you don't have one get one because honey it's gonna be a whole lot of crystal being cut right here from the dollar tree like i'm telling you now hey. 
Okay, queens and kings, so basically, now that I have all my surface flat as possible, so therefore I can be able to pull my sand in here. Now, I'm gonna make it even, but I don't, I advise you not to put too much in each one because you're gonna need the sand to travel from side to side, and if it's too full, it, you won't be able to get the sand to travel from side to side, so if that makes sense, once you have to tilt the hourglass over and over. So now I'm going to take my um, fix all adhesive and once again this came from the Dollar Tree as well. You can use E6000, you can actually use nail glue. I think I'm going to use that later in the video. But I'm just putting it on the rim of the glasses and then I'm going to take the risers and place them on top. Now this is the part where I was saying you should just do one side before you do the other because it could be a little tedious, it's like difficult, like how I'm gonna get this sand in here without actually pouring the sand out, but you will see what I actually do later in the video. Okay, so now that we're trying to put the risers on top of the glasses here, you're gonna have to get up so you can eyeball and stand and see. So therefore, when I did flip it over like that, I didn't have to worry about it actually, the um, sand coming out. So you're gonna need to apply some pressure as I'm doing here, but I'm actually gonna put something much heavier on there because I need this to secure to the mirror. So therefore, none of my sand come out once again. Okay, Queens and King, once you get ready to flip it over, you could leave it like um, flip down, face down, um, but I did flip it over so therefore I could put a heavy book on top of it just to, you know, adhere it to the book, to the um, browser so therefore it doesn't fall. But I did this, I left it overnight so I let it dry 24 hours before I move on to the next step, which you always see the different lighting in the video. It actually took me days because I had stopped, do it, stop, do it, you know, being a full-time mom and wife and YouTuber, <laughs> yes, you have to go through a lot to get these DIYs together. Okay, so now this is the next day and later in the day as you guys can see from the lighting. I'm using some vinegar and this vinegar actually did come from the Dollar Tree as well. Crazy, huh? But I'm using the vinegar to clear off the glue that you guys see there that had dried up, which is easy to peel off with vinegar. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my famous and favorite tool to actually use, which is my hot knife to cut off the base of the wine glass. I'm not too far because I don't wanna put a hole in it just yet. I'm gonna do that a little bit later, but just right there where those two little faux crystals meet, um, where the wine glass still have it secureness or, you know, it's still secure closed, basically. Just not too far down, just as of yet. All right, Queen, so now that we have finished that part, cutting everything down here, I'm showing you guys basically like it is a B, but it's more like a, a charm for your hair. I didn't have no clear bead or anything that actually had a hole in it. This was the closest that I could have got to actually what I'm gonna use this for. So next up, I'm going to take my love hot knife or whatever you would call it and this is where I started to place the holes inside of the glasses as you guys see in here um, sorry that you can't see it too close but I will give you guys a clip of the holes afterwards what I have made and I'm making them big enough so the sand can actually glide through on each end when I be able to flip it over so basically you see me with the little silver piece here the little bead where I'm trying to see if I want to put that directly on top because that's going to give me the sturdiness that I need for in the middle but not as just yet that I'm gonna put that on there
Okay, so now moving in along, I'm going to take four of these packs of spoons and forks that came from the Dollar Tree as well as two of them come in a the pack. They come as a set, as a spoon and a fork, of course. Um, I'm actually going to use the handle in. So as you guys can see, I'm using my little hot knife to cut as close to the top of this um, spoon here. And also I'm going to do the same thing for the fork. And if I didn't mention, I can't remember. <laughs> but you're going to need four packs of these. To create this and the reason you're gonna need four pack because they actually not as long as I would need them to support this up to keep it sturdy so you're gonna see me later on use another cut another pack but just a little round in at the part which is the full crystal in okay so moving along now I'm going to start gluing the handles to the each side the corners of the risers as you guys can see now I'm using my fix all adhesive glue as well as hot glue which I would advise you guys at this point here to use like a stronger adhesive glue because Dollar Tree glue did not work as well. I actually went back with some nail glue because that's the only other strong glue that I did have. And the mixture of the nail glue as well with the hot glue does work very well which was by, very surprising to me. But it did work out and it gave me that sturdy hole that I really need. Okay, so now that we have all four sizes glued down and everything, as you guys see, I do have the nail glue in my hand there. Now, this is the part right here where I was telling you guys earlier, you may want to just do one side with the sand first, but this is the trick that I had to do is basically tip once, tip them over onto the side so therefore I can actually connect them together because I wasn't going to be able to pull it on directly over top because the sand was going to pour out. So that's prevent me from pouring the sand out. But if you guys did see also, it did not touch, it did not reach. So this was the fourth pack of the utensils come in it and where I'm showing you guys I'm gonna cut using my hot knife again just cut off that crystal end part there that's look like a diamond and I'm gonna glue that on top of each one of the handlers here uh, which I have already did before I uh, already went ahead and did the other three but I'm showing you guys what I'm gonna do so therefore I can do the fourth one Okay, so now that we have that off here and well showing you guys, I'm going to use some hot glue in a mixture of the nail glue to secure this. Now you see how loose that was? I had to go back with the nail glue to secure the handles to the base or the riser. Now as you guys see, I'm putting the nail glue and then the hot glue. Now this holds very well. It works wonders so that was very surprising to me once again so now that I have placed them all and now it will be able to reach or touch the opposite end of the hourglass so I'm liking this so far what you guys like I really like this it's so pretty okay so this is the clip where I want to show you guys where I put the hole in as you guys see it's not as big as it's look on the camera it really is not but I need it open or wide enough so therefore the sand can travel from side to side now also here in the middle here I'm showing you guys where I use that hair um, bead or you know the hair piece that I was showing you guys earlier I, I am using two and I noticed I had to use two this is actually gonna give me the sturdy hole for where the sand can travel um, freely without actually clogging up or anything like that so what I did was open it up as you guys can see it's just like a hair charm basically that's what it is because once again I did not have a bead so with the hair charm on one side I glue one on on one side of the hourglass and then I'm gonna actually when I get ready to connect it then I'm gonna glue the second piece on where I'm about to show you guys right now so now as you guys see I'm actually securing some more of the rhinestone wrap around the edge because it came a little within all the moving and turning and everything that I was doing now we're gonna flip it over to the side 
and then we're going to connect them together and how i'm going to do that i'm actually just going to use hot glue at this moment to connect them together then i will go back and use the um nail glue so once i line it all up then i will apply the hot glue Okay, so now that we have it all secured together, well, just about, I just left one a loose so therefore I can maneuver my hands through the middle there because it was kind of really tight. But as you guys see, I did place some glue down in the middle and now I'm going to put that other hair piece on there. Um, I'm not even sure what to call it, charm. I'm, I'm going to say charm. <laughs> but we're going to put the other charm on it and that's just basically, like I said, so I can have the sand to flow smoothly without actually being caught up or end of the sand falling out but i'm also going to secure it some more by putting some more of that rhinestone in the middle as well to you know bring it all together all right queens and kings now tell me you guys don't love this i mean i love this it's it's so beautiful it turned out exactly how i envisioned i had this idea in my mind for a minute ever since the glasses came out i had it in my mind but i just wasn't sure how i was gonna get it all together but i'm happy how it all turned out as well as the magnified glass there it looks so gorgeous on the coffee table like a beautiful statement piece like you cannot find this unique piece nowhere else but if you queens and king do make one of these for yourself please let me know tag me on instagram at val glam castle and decor or leave it down below and let me know if you guys will make one but if you all enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe and i will talk to you queens and kings in the next video you guys always continue to be royal